What's going on today, people? You already know what it is. This is Tunchi, YB TV. Um, I got another inbox. This one is titled Driving Opportunities, and it's from Angel. Uh, good morning. My name is Angel. I have seen some of your YouTube videos, and I appreciate the info. Appreciate you. And had a question, and any feedback will be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to get into my own truck and start trying to make some decent money. I drove for Cisco for two months and hated it, but I've been driving for a small company, Northeast Regional, for going on six months. Okay. So total around eight months experience. I'm not making enough to put back for my own truck. So do you have any companies or other drivers that have multiple trucks that will help me get into a better financial situation right now? I net about five to seven hundred a week and I'm home every weekend, but should I rather be out a couple weeks and be home for four days or something like that to make more money? Any anyways, any possible insight or advice on any kind or a move I could make would help put myself in a better situation would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thanks in advance and have a great day. Oh man, um, as a company driver, as a company driver, is a few things that you could possibly do. Uh, I can't really, I can't really tell you companies like that, cause I'm not, I haven't been comp- a company driver with a lot of companies. Only thing I know is, um, I know that like Conway, Conway, the triples and doubles. I know the triples and doubles were like Conway and UPS. A lot of the guys is bringing home like a thousand bucks a week. If I'm not mistaken, and that's if you get your triples and doubles. Um, One of the things that I could say look into is becoming a trainer. If you are, if you choose in a company and they got somewhere where you could become a trainer, you could become a a actual uh, driver trainer where you bring in it where where the guys that just got their CDL, they come and they get on your truck for about a month and you run. Uh, That that could make you a quick thousand bucks. Um, I, I know it could be hard, but seven hundred dollars take home, five to seven hundred dollars, five hundred ain't too good. But seven hundred dollars take home ain't no ain't nothing to sneeze at, you know. Um, the thing is, is one of the things that I will really honestly tell you is, don't ever just think that you got to come up with fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, you know, to get you a, a to just go buy a truck. Uh, how's your credit? Um, you know, you could, you could always do what my man did. He, um, he went through his, uh, credit union. He went through his credit union and he used his credit and he borrowed $10,000 from his credit union to take it so he could borrow $70,000 from a dealership on the truck. You know what I'm saying? So he went that route. So it's, it's different routes that you could take to become an owner operator. It just depends on what type of numbers make sense to you. But uh, being a company driver, um, I, I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to mislead you and give you false information. Uh, but what I can say is a lot of the sometime is going to be the longevity. You got under a year experience, so that's about eight months experience. You got under a year. That, like, you might not be able to max out in a lot of pay scales, especially company. They do pay you for your experience versus on the operator you just get paid a flat rate like i could have a year experience and this person right here can have 12 years we come in with a truck if my truck is more fuel efficient than his i'm gonna make more money than him if i don't have a truck note if my truck paid off i'm gonna make more money than him as an owner operator signed on to a company because it's the same rate no matter the experience for most companies but when you're going into a company driver thing, they, they kind of pay you off experience. Like, they'll say $0.33 cent for one year, $0.36 cent for two years, $0.38 cent for three years. You know you know what I'm saying? So for on and so forth. So they might do you like that. And after five years and above, they might max you out at like $0.50 cent per mile. So you know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. So only thing I could say is, like, just look into training programs where you could be a trainer. Um but if you want to be home every two weeks, that's that's kind of uh, limiting you too as well. So, uh, the honest answer is just keep on finding, keep on doing what you're doing, and keep on doing your research. Check into triples and doubles. Uh, you could check into tanker. That's a lot more money for a company driver if you're willing to do these things. 
and becoming a trainer. Those are the things that will get you easy. Should, you should be able to easily get over a thousand dollars doing those things. And honestly, if you go into Tanker, if you consider going into Tanker, uh, I'm not sure if you know how much experience you would be able to uh, start out with to get into a Tanker. If you would need a, a, a like a year experience of pulling a box, but um, what I would honestly say is um, you could possibly do local Tanker. Because I know that um, I was talking to some local taker guys, and they was making 1200 bucks a week take home um, being a company driver. And they was just going from, like, the, these – these they was hauling fuel, but they needed their hazmat too. So I hope that helped you. Uh, thanks for reaching out, Angel. I hope that helped you. If not, you need more clarity than that, just reach out to me, man, and I'll uh, I try my best to answer the question again, the best – with the best of my abilities. But I hope that helped. You already know what it is, Andrew. Appreciate you. Much love from YBE TV. If you don't want to end up in a box, think outside of it. YBE. Drug dealing and killing is going on in my town. Yeah, don't take a killer to kill or a driller to drill. She just being yourself is the definition of real.